Bowden, my buddy, how are you? How are you doing? How can it be how that Dan doing? Lewis has been retired now for nine years? His grandchildren, Bowden and Celia, are glad of it. See the space needle? Look up at the space needle. Way up there. Huh? Yeah. What an elevator. And today is a day for me to say to everyone, everyone here, thank you. Thank you very much. After 27 years at Como, he retired in 2014. This is Como News 4. But before that, he was part of a dream team. Dan Lewis has spent the past few weeks looking into the violence and fear. I came here in 1987, and uh, Steve and Kathy and Bruce were already here. They welcomed me with open arms. We became fast friends, and you know, what a great team to work with. They were a great team. This is Bruce King for KOMO News. Bruce King got here first in 1968. He was a classic, a stylist, a lovable legend. The first guy in uniform here at Six Stadium this afternoon, 1969 Centennial Seafair race preparations. With Husky head coach Don James, we welcome you to Husky football. Bruce King is definitely a sports legend in the city of Seattle and throughout western Washington. <laughs> Bruce King loved his Huskies. Bruce King uh, loved sports. Today's show is about a remarkable documentary on blacks in the Northwest. Steve Poole started working full-time at Como in 1977. He started with sports. UCLA Bruins won the Pac-10 track. Then news, and he eventually settled on weather. His charismatic sparkle lit up the TV screen for more than 30 years. Let's talk about our situation, because I know you want to know. You're saying, Steve, come on, what's going to happen now? Steve Poole is such a likable guy and one of the most talented people I've ever known. I mean, beyond his, his uh, great work with the weather on the air, he was funny, he, he could sing. Steve, I think, was a born entertainer. Hello, everybody. I'm Steve Poole, and welcome to Front Runners. People love Steve Poole, man, and I love Steve Poole. He was such a fun guy to work with. Hurricane Allen has again grown in fury, boosting the peak intensity Seattle of... Seattle girl Kathy Gertson started working at Como in 1980. She adored Seattle, but not as much as Seattle would come to adore her. As a Seattle school superintendent working 10, 12, 14, 16 hours a day. And he told me there I still think about Kathy every day. Um, I feel her, her spirit with me a lot. She was, she loved this community. She was Seattle through and through. Uh, she was so courageous during her, her health issues. Uh, she battled those brain tumors for a dozen years. Uh, never let that define her life. I'm still able to talk to people and interview people, and that's, that's what I love. It keeps me going. It keeps my motor running. We enjoyed being around each other. We counted on each other. Uh, we trusted each other. She was the best. She was, Kathy was a journalist, an excellent journalist. She was the most natural person on the air that I've ever worked with. She was genuine. Good evening. Tonight, the governor has added three more counties to the list of those in a state of emergency. And of course, there in the middle of it all was Dan, rock solid, a journalist at the core, a true newsman. Reservation. The people here are doing whatever they can right now. Scram. Among the 258 people on board, there were 38 Syracuse. And there are many, many emergency responses being made down at LAX. To initially bring a plane down, and he did explain that that could be the one thing. And now we turn to Bruce for sports, and the U.S. hockey team did pretty Much well. Much of their run was pre-internet, pre-social media. People leaned on their anchor team, depended on them. Steve Poole joins us now with the latest on these rising rivers. Some of them... The world was different then. And as it changed, Dan, Kathy, Steve, and Bruce chronicled it with class and conviction and compassion. Hello, I'm Dan Lewis with Kathy Gertzen at the King Dome. Stranded by snow and no relief in sight. Yeah, avalanche dangers are keeping Snoqualmie Pass closed tonight. Enforcing... But nothing lasts forever. In the early 1990s, a new guy showed up on the set, wide-eyed at the legends around him. 
So I thank all of you very, very much for putting up with me and uh, for allowing me to do this and make this a career. Thank you. Bruce retired in 1999 after 31 years. He passed away 18 years later. Kathy died in 2012 after a very public and courageous fight that we talk about still. Steve left the business in 2019 to spend time with his wife and daughters. He's never left the area. And then there's Dan. Active and healthy, he is loving life with his grandkids, Bowden, yeah. Celia, and Cole. Dan is like so very many people in Western Washington. He remembers the great years of a great anchor team with great fondness. Steve, Bruce, and Kathy were so professional, so involved in the community. Well, thanks for joining us. See you at 11, everybody. Good night. Bye-bye. And we became such good friends. And that was a magical thing, and it was a, it was a joy. It was a blessing in my life. Moving to Seattle was the best thing I ever did.